this is a red, white, and blue patriotic version of the same thing. These are just models, but they are miniatures representing the grandiose scheme of Albert Notar Bartolo to put his art into orbit around the Earth. Some artists anchor after walls to paint or mountains to carve. Notar Bartolo wants it all. Well, I was constantly feeling hemmed in by physical space, especially the second dimension on the canvas. I felt claustrophobic. And uh, when I started working on paper sculptures of some of my paintings that you see over here, and I would place it in space on a table, and I'd look at it, and still it was surrounded by bric-a-brac, you know, walls and chairs and furniture and things like that. So I still felt confined. And one day I thought that I would like to have a space that had no top and no bottom and no side. And I thought that the best place for that would be up, up in outer space. And it started off, I guess, as a, a fanciful idea. And then suddenly I got very serious about it. And I started designing actual pieces of sculpture that could be placed in orbit about the Earth. His catalog also includes an exploding tricolor meteor to leave trails of bicentennial fire, an Earth log container for our history in the event we blow up the planet, a huge wheel that just looks nice, and a decorative star cloud made up of lots and lots of these, much bigger than this, of course. Companies and other large institutions with lots of spare cash are invited to sponsor Spaceworks, but no, you may not expect to see the company logo orbiting the Earth for eternity. I'm Robert Potts. What a feeling that would be to look up in the sky at night and see a star that you put up there. Tomorrow night at Radio City Music Hall, they will not be presenting the rock.